Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing a review on the new Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I have mine in the color Sand Beige, number 6. I found this at Walmart for around $8. Um, if you pick it up at CVS or Walgreens, it's going to be a little more expensive. I think I've seen it for $10, $10.50 around there. So definitely um, try to pick it up at Walmart. It's a lot cheaper. The foundation comes in a glass bottle. The packaging is really nice. Um, and it has a pump, which is awesome. You know, a lot of foundations at the drugstore do not come with a pump. So that is a plus. I actually, in the beginning, I didn't know that I had a pump and I was twisting it off all the way because it's really easy to twist off. For some reason, I thought this was an applicator. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me, but no, it has a pump, a really nice pump too. Also, I think that the reason that I was twisting it off was because I was checking the color in store. Um, as you can see, you can kind of open it really quickly, take a look and see what color you are. Um, and I noticed that the one down from this, which was number five, I don't remember clearly. I think it was either too pink or it was too light. So I'm definitely like in between shades. This one's a little too dark for me, but I can make it work. So the color selection is not bad. I believe there's 14 shades available. And on the back of this, it claims to be a medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof. So I definitely agree with the fact that it's medium to full coverage. I think it has an amazing coverage. Um, as you can see in the demo, I'm going to insert a demo of me applying it. It has really good coverage and I only use one pump of the foundation. You can definitely build up the foundation to a full coverage, especially on the areas where you need a little bit more coverage, where there's a little more redness, or if you have any blemishes. But by itself, with one pump, it definitely has really good coverage. It does feel really lightweight on the skin. It doesn't really feel heavy. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing tons of foundation or anything like that. It gives a really pretty finish. Not too matte and not too dewy. It's like right in between. It just looks really healthy and really nice. I really love the finish of the foundation. So for application, I tested this with a brush and then I also tested it with my Beauty Blender. I think that the Beauty Blender is the way to go with this foundation just because this foundation is a little on the thick side. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a close-up. It's really thick, as you can see, it's made a mess, but it doesn't slide, it's not very liquidy, it's a pretty moussey, thick consistency. So definitely with a beauty blender, it applies the best. Another thing that I noticed is that the foundation has a scent to it, and it's a scent that I only smell while I'm applying it onto my face. It doesn't stay or linger throughout the day or anything like that, and it doesn't smell bad. It kind of has like a really light perfume smell, so just want to throw it out there that it does have a scent. So I've owned the foundation for about three weeks now, so I have been testing it for quite some time. And I've tested it with all the primers that I own. So I have the Pores No More primer, I have Smashbox uh, Pore Minimizing Primer, I have Step 1 Mattifying Primer from Makeup Forever, and I've even tested it with the Milani Prime Shield Base Primer. This one's supposed to be mattifying and pore minimizing. And no matter what primer I've used, I still don't get any more than about four hours of wear without the foundation kind of breaking up and getting extremely oily. So it is kind of long wearing because the foundation was definitely still on my face, but it definitely broke broke up in the areas where I got extremely oily. So it just didn't look as good as when I first applied it within the four hours. So I really wasn't getting much wear out of this, which is sad. Um, I just don't think it's... A good foundation for oily skin in my opinion I also tried setting it with different powders which I always do no matter what foundation I use even if it's a matte foundation I still set my t-zone because I know that I get really oily one of my favorite powders to use is the Mac pro Longwear press powder and this powder keeps me pretty matte um, throughout the day and then I also use my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I was still getting not much wear time out of this foundation so one other thing that i do not like about this foundation is that this can easily cake up while you're applying it um i think the first couple times that i tested this out i used two pumps and it just looked really heavy even like people were like noticing they're like you have a lot of foundation on today so i strongly recommend just using one pump and if you need extra coverage like if you have redness just use a little bit more foundation and just concentrate it on that area um and just a little goes a long way with this foundation so that's one thing that I don't like, but it's something that you can prevent from happening. So overall, I think this is a great drugstore foundation. I think that the coverage is great, the finish is great, and even the price is amazing. It's affordable, um, really easy to find. If you can find your match, definitely I would recommend this if you have 
um, normal to dry skin. I think this will work the best for you with the longevity. Um, like I said, for my oily skin girls, just be aware that this might not last very long. So next I just want to talk about the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer, which I probably should have talked about before the foundation, but this is going to be really quick. Um, this is supposed to be mattifying and pore minimizing and oil free. On the back it says um, that it mattifies and perfects skin, instantly minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines, lightweight, non-greasy feel, does not clog pores. So basically my thought with this, which I've tried, I did try using this a few times and I just didn't see it working for me. This rem The consistency reminds me of the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, which I actually did not like that primer at all. Um, I'm trying to zoom in here to show you guys the consistency. Hello? You guys see that? There we go. It's just like kind of watery it's very silicone feeling as you can see when I rub it in it does look like it's matte like it has a nice matte finish but I can definitely I can't feel it as much on my hand I can say that but when I apply it on my face I can feel how greasy it is it kind of just slips and slides over my face and then when I apply the foundation over it the foundation is just slipping and sliding I also didn't see that it minimized my pores. I'm going to insert a demo of me applying it. I tried smoothing it over my pores. I tried kind of pushing it in kind of like the way you're supposed to use the Benefit Professional is to push it into your pores. And I just didn't see any difference with this. So sadly, this was not a hit for me. It just didn't work. It doesn't do what it says. And I also don't like the feeling of primers that are like this because they just slip and slide on my face. And even though it says that it's supposed to be mattifying, I really didn't see any difference. Um, I didn't see any difference with the longevity um, with this foundation or with any other foundation. I actually, I actually tried it with my um, L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation. I didn't see any difference with my pores. I didn't really see any difference with the longevity. This is actually a pretty long wearing foundation on its own. So I didn't see like any difference with this. Um, I tried it with my Makeup Forever um, HD foundation, which is one that I use all the time. Didn't see much longevity or any difference with my pores or anything like that. So sadly, the foundation is a pass. I might be returning it um, and I don't recommend it at all. If you like the Maybelline Baby Skin, then you might actually really like this because this actually looks and feels a little more matte than the baby skin. The baby skin didn't feel matte to me at all. It was just like a slippery mess for me. So I really didn't like that one. That one kind of, kind of reminds me of that. But this one does feel a little more like it has some kind of mattifying property to it. So if you like the baby skin, I would recommend that. But for me, it was just a no-go. So I think that's it. I try to keep my reviews short and informative as possible. If I missed anything, just go ahead and ask me down below. I always look forward to reading your comments. Let me know if you've tried this and what you think of it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you want to see more. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next review. Bye guys!